to ignore yourself. You have ignored yourself because they have always made you look up there at some god that they themselves have not seen. Because of this, enlightenment has been transported or exported to heaven. Otherwise, it's simple, it's the most obvious. When <clears throat> you heard of Arjuna, so when Krishna went on talking truth, 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 Arjuna said, why the hell is this truth that you're talking about? Where is it? Because if I ask you, is it here, you say no. If I ask you, is it there, you say no. At another time, if I ask you, is it here, you say yes. If I ask you, is it there, you say yes. What is this nonsense? Where is it? Tell me where is it, I'll go get it. He's a warrior, you know. <laughs> so Krishna laughed and said, the ultimate truth about life is at the tip of your nose. Now, there are many schools of yoga <laughs> who are intensely focusing on the tips of their noses. You try focusing on the tip of your nose, within two minutes you'll get a headache, you'll not get enlightened. So, all he's saying is it's the most obvious. The problem is it's here, but your senses are set there. So, you just need a little bit of turning around, that's all. I would say many being called but few choose. Few choose to really come. It's not few are chosen, just a few choose to take the step. People ask me how many steps. Just say, I tell them take one step and there is only one step. You have taken a million steps outward, just one step inward, that's all it takes. But you can't take a step inward like this, you have to turn around and take it. But you're not willing to turn around because you made investments on the outside. It is not that if you turn, in, turn, turn inward, you lose the outside, it is not so. 